just a bit of a background to the OECS's COVID-19 response that Ambassador referred to. Uh, the government um, of the, Feder the Federative Republic of Brazil gave us US $100,000, which was earmarked for PCR test kits for the OECS. Uh, as you all know inside of here, PCR is the gold standard of testing that we subscribe to within the OECS. And that amount got us 5,000 PCR test kits, 2,000 of which are going to St. Lucia, 2,000 to Grenada, and 1,000 we are going to keep in storage so that we can assist the member states who may in future become in dire need. This is really to augment the in-country testing in the OECS member states that are already happening. When COVID-19 was de um, declared a global pandemic in March of this year by the World Health Organization, the OECS embarked on a multi-pronged response system. So not only did we reach out to our friends in our, our bilateral community, but we reached out to the private sector and we reached out to our member states. So in country, we were bolstering support on all of these levels. And so right now at this juncture, who better to speak to that response than the head of the Human and Social Cluster at the OECS Commission, Dr. Colleen Raddick. First of all, I want to say how pleased we are to be collaborating with Brazil in our collective response to COVID-19. Um, Dr. Jules, as was said, reached out early in the pandemic. From the time the global pandemic was announced, he reached out to all sources, resources, in order to mobilize for member states. And we were quite happily surprised to get that positive response so quickly with regards to a, an amount of 100,000 US dollars to move towards testing. And in collaboration with our member states, we agreed that swabs and testing was what was needed at the time, the PCR testing. Further, as was said, we could do the procurement through World Food, Pro Food Program, through PAHO, so that the test would be the same as the tests that we use across the region. Um, and so this was an excellent partnership. Of course, there have been difficulties and issues. The swabs came first and they were donated mm -hmm. across the member states. We didn't have to worry about cold chain and things like that. So swabs, St. Lucia received a thousand swabs early on, earlier on. But now we, the kits have come in and 5,000 of the 6,000 kits that the funds have been able to purchase. So, so we actually have an extra thousand that have not yet been procured. The power said when they are available, they'll let us know. So we'll know who we'll send to which member state at the time will be most in need. But 5,000 uh, 5, test kits have arrived here in St. Lucia. Um, and I think just at the right time. Yes. So um, we are happy to be able to have test kits available to respond to the current um, clusters of cases that are happening. I arrived here February 17th, two weeks after. My God, so the world was upside down, nobody knew what to do. And I received this letter from Dr. Jules. I didn't even know exactly what OECS was, because I was here, you know. Asking, and in, in Brazil was such a confusion, because of, and then I said, oh my God, I'm sure that there will be no possibility of cooperation. So then, but anyway, I sent the letter. And to my surprise, I received a, a call. Yes, we can do it. We have a credit with a World Food Program. They are doing this during the pandemics. They can do this through PAHO. And yes, we can send $100,000. And they can choose to buy whatever equipment or medicine they want. Well, I was so happy, but then pandemics and bureaucracy were not good friends. It took us eight months to get this. And every week I was there, tireless. You have done a remarkable job concerning the COVID. There is my witness, you know. But the way you did it, professionally, with transparency. On behalf of the government and people of St. Lucia, I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to the Brazilian Embassy and the Organization of the Eastern Caribbean States for this generous donation today. 
the donation of 2,000 test kits and 1,000 swabs have indeed increased our capacity to test at the Ezra Long Laboratory. And um, our team members are there with us and they are very happy. And this will assist us greatly in this fight, this global fight, for us to combat COVID-19. We are so very um, thankful for the, for the support at uh, this difficult time.